Hi friends, Father Scott again. You know, in these troubled times, we're looking for peace. We're looking for some calm in the midst of a rapidly changing and very fluid situation. But it's important for us to remember that real peace often, and I guess probably always, only comes after we, we struggle through things after we go through the turmoil of examining who we are and what we believe and how we view the world, true, true peace requires that we wrestle with tough questions in our lives and maybe tough situations too. We see in our gospel reading for today that turmoil surrounded Jesus, you know, Prince of Peace, but uh, we see that uh, all those who encountered him um, did so, and it kind of threw their lives into an upheaval. And we see that in our gospel reading today. Let's take a look at it. This is from the gospel according to John, the seventh chapter, beginning at the 40th verse. Some in the crowd who heard these words of Jesus said, this is truly the prophet. Others said, this is the Christ. But others said, the Christ will not come from Galilee, will he? Does not scripture say that the Christ will be of David's family and come from Bethlehem, the village where David lived? So a division occurred in the crowd because of him. Some of them even wanted to arrest him. But no one laid hands on him. So the guards went to the chief priests and Pharisees who asked them, why did you not bring him? The guards answered, Never before has anyone spoken like this man. So the Pharisees answered them, Have you also been deceived? Have any of the authorities or the Pharisees believed in him? But this crowd, which does not know the law, is accursed. Nicodemus, one of their members who had come to him earlier, said to them, Does our law condemn a man before it first hears him and finds out what he is doing? They answered and said to him, You are not from Galilee also, are you? Look and see that no prophet arises from Galilee. Then each went to his own house. We see that uh, all of the people are wrestling with, Who is Jesus? What does he mean? And that creates turmoil and division. And you know, that's not a bad thing. If we're really going to uh, experience who Jesus really is, we have to wrestle with the truth about him. Because, let's be honest, Jesus comes and does some things that we have never seen before and says things that we have never heard before and challenges us in ways that maybe we have never been challenged before. And so if we are being honest, then... We have to wrestle with these things because Jesus calls for nothing less than a complete change of life, a complete conversion. And that's never easy, and it never comes without struggle. The only problem with the way that the people in our gospel reading were, were uh, carrying out this struggle, it comes, we see right at the very end, where it says, after they have their big arguments and discussions and are wrestling with Jesus, it says, then each went to his own home. Now that's a problem. Because as long, you know, however challenged we are, however in turmoil Jesus makes our lives, the only way we cannot profit by that, the only way our lives cannot be made better by that, the only way that we won't find peace is if we give up the struggle, if we just throw up our hands and go home. You know, I think that that's part of the problem with uh, um, the divisions that we see in our society today. We don't really engage each other in the turmoil, in the, the give and take, the forcing ourselves to really listen to ideas that are different from our own. We just go to our corners we just play in our own sandboxes. 
Jesus calls us to be uncomfortable sometimes. Jesus calls us to struggle with ourselves and to struggle with ideas that are different from ours and ways of life that are different from ours and ways of looking at the world that are different from ours. Brothers and sisters in Christ, let's never give up on the struggle because it's only through going through the changes and the struggles and the challenges that we find real peace. It's only in really be, being willing to examine our lives in the light of Christ and the new things that he's doing in the world and the new things that he wants to do in us. Only by going through those do we come to real peace. And so as we go through these unsettled times that we're in, all of the changes and challenges and all of the threats that we feel. Let's do so trusting that God is there with us. God is struggling with us. And as long as we stay engaged with him and stay engaged with the world around us and the people around us, we have the opportunity to be made new. We have the opportunity to experience the conversion that God calls us all to. God bless you. I'll be talking to you again soon.